Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. This is the 10th installment in my The Untold Truth in Detailing mini series on my new YouTube channel. So, I've been getting awesome response from the direction that I'm taking this channel in. And, you know, it's, it's, I want it to be so powerful and to be able to help so many people. And, um, I'm really putting some effort into getting videos up several times a week, not just once a week. Um, currently having some new artwork made for the YouTube channel. I mean, this is, you know, I'm really, really rocking and rolling and making this this new YouTube channel something that you guys can not only see what I'm doing as far as detailing and whatever, but, you know, adding some other elements like some training stuff and, you know, sharing some secrets with you that nobody else is going to talk to you about. Because... Really, I just don't give a fuck. Uh, I want you guys to hear this stuff, and um, that's it. I'm a no BS, uncensored kind of guy. I try to keep the swearing down, but really, in real life, I, I cuss like a sailor. Um, so I apologize if that offends any of you, but I'm I'm sick of like conforming to what like the professional image is supposed to be. Uh, I am professional. Uh, I speak well. I, you know, I enunciate and I, you know, I cuss like a sailor, but um, I'll, I'll try to keep that down to a minimum. But I just want you guys to know that I'm a no bullshit kind of guy. And that's the approach that I'm taking with this new YouTube channel. And that is, that's it. If you don't like it, don't watch. Period. So here's where I'm at. I get a lot of questions like on a weekly or even a daily basis um, and one of, you know, I'm trying to address all these questions I and mean, I've got a list in my phone a mile long. Every time somebody asks me a, questions, I, a question, I jot it down in my, my notepad and, you know, I make sure that I get to it and when I get to it, I cross it off and I keep adding and subtracting. Mul I do simple math to get these questions answered for you. and. Um, Simple math really works. So, this question I've been asked lots of times, and it's something that I'm pretty passionate about. Pa I'm pretty passion, passionate about. I'm passionate about the answer because it can be taken well or bad, uh, and so. The question is, do I need, and again, I'm being politically correct. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention the name of any organization or anything like that. You guys can either Google it or just figure it out. Um, do I need a certification for detailing? Uh, will that get me farther in my career or help me launch my business better? Um, the answer, and you know, all of this stuff you know is my opinion, uh, is how I feel about it based on my extensive experience. And my answer to that is absolutely not. What you need is a level of professionalism, you need to be a business person, you need to uh, you know, have some skills detailing, uh, and you need to gain experience. That's what you need. Um, the internet is a is an incredible resource. Resource. It's also a double-edged sword. I mean, you you know, you've got every random idiot sitting behind a computer that can say whatever they want with no you know no consequence. Uh, they they. They have no clue what they're talking about. However, they have the opinion uh, on every single thing that that is out there on the internet. Uh, these people have never done it, but they're internet smart. And uh, I, I would I would say that if you don't have experience in what you're doing, like hands on, extensive experience about it, you should shut the hell up. Uh, however. We can't get those internet trolls to, to shut their mouths. They're always going to sit behind the computer because they got nothing else to do. They're not making money. They're not making sense. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Uh, they're, this, they're just there to, uh, you know, be jealous at, at what the other people are doing and uh, 
try to give people a hard time. And, you know, in the past, you know, I've had issues with trolls or whatever. I've moved forward from that. I've learned a lot from it. Uh, and I'm far better at dealing with that now with more experience than I ever was before. So, you know, keep that in mind when you put information out on the internet. And uh, I would definitely uh, consider your source when you're getting information and you're taking that and using that. Uh, but as far as a certification for detailing, I think that it's more important for you to gain experience from someone that you trust, uh, someone who has been in the field. Um, you know, ask questions, get advice. Uh, I'll do another video on like detailed training. You know, what kind of training you know I recommend that you get. Um, but I I feel like business training is more important than having detail training uh, and. You you will be far more successful in business if you know how to run a business than if you uh, are a hobbyist detailer spending lots of time that you shouldn't be spending. Uh, you know, more time is more money that you're spending and not making. Uh, but uh, no, I don't believe that you need a certification per se. Customer doesn't give a fuck. They don't care what certification you have. All they care is whether or not you're going to screw their car up or not, or do an awesome job. That's what they care about. They care about their clean and shiny car. They ca they obviously care about the image that that car reflects upon uh, other people around them. They don't care about a certification. They care that you have you you know the capacity, uh, mental and mentally and physically, to get that car looking like they expect it to look. That's what they care about. Nobody is going to ask you if you are certified to, to detail a car. No, unfortunately, that's the, that is the, that, this is the time we live in. This is what has been created for us to deal with now. Now, do I feel like these organizations that are out there are, um, do I feel like it's a good cause? Absolutely. I think that uh, if if we could go back 20 years and uh, they would have started trying to standardize the industry as far as uh, certification programs and that kind of thing uh, back then, um, I feel like it would be more impactful today. Uh, I, I truly feel like it's a waste of their time. I do not think that they're ever going to get caught up and get everybody on board uh, where, you know, there's a certification across the, uh, uh, across the board. I can tell you that First of all, I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I've never been asked if I'm certified to do anything. Um, first of all, you know, I, I the money's made in the initial consultation, not actually when I'm doing the job. And you know, people are happy with you know the job that I provi provide. I listen to you know the customers' expectations, and I you know I build a package for them uh, around you know their expectation, uh, their budget, and reality. And I've mentioned that before, and those things are really important. But as far as uh, certifications go, I feel like it would be cool if there was something standardized, but you know, you're not gonna get these people that have been involved in detailing for years and years and years to start feeling like um, they need to be certified when no one's ever asked for that. Um, you know, detailing, you know, most detailers aren't legit. They don't have a business license like, uh, oh, they're on the floor. They don't have a business license. Business licenses. Um, you know, it's it's important to have uh, a legitimate business. And if you're not a legitimate business, um, you know, then you're a hobbyist. And realistically, if you're getting paid for a service and you're not, you know, recording that and uh, submitting that you made money to the IRS, that's illegal. You're you're literally um, breaking the law. And, you know, do that if you like. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, there definitely should be a uniform platform of uh, legitimacy uh, in the detailing industry. But unfortunately, there's no certification program that's gonna stop that. And, you know, until, and, and the problem is there's so much of it to, to get stopped uh, and break down before uh, you know, a certifi certification uh, program 
uh, could be actually legitimate where uh, it would help people to grow their businesses and you know people would you know want to you know go to those kinds of people I, I feel like there's a lot more work to do than you know in my opinion is worth uh, now you know even those certification programs they're they're about profit why would they do that if they weren't trying to make money so you know I, I feel like you know I mean, obviously, if they're going to be out there certifying you or whatever, but who who's to say that they are are worthy of it? Are they accredited by some some uh, you know a federal organization or a state organization that has given them the the power to say, hey, you're certified? You know, I haven't looked into it, but I would bet you that there's no accreditation accredited accre accreditation. I don't fucking know the word but uh, there's no um, th they're not accredited they which means they just don't have um, th they haven't been given the power from a higher authority to give you a certification um, you know so that's important as well so look into that when you go looking into these uh, organizations I tell you what a piece of paper with my name on it saying I did some shit doesn't matter but I tell you what, all those YouTube videos where you see me doing stuff, uh, all the write-ups that I've ever done on the internet, all my posts on Facebook, um, all the people that I know that I've made happy, uh, that I've, I've worked for and really you know, shown them that I care about their car just as much as they do, that is the proof that people need that I am certified to do whatever it is you need me to do when it's detailing oriented, period. That's all the certification I need. I'll tell you what else. And most of you guys know the, the certification I need is right here. Right here. And this might be a cocky situation, and I don't even care. But I'm going to show you something. This is all the certification I need. Now, I'm not showing you this to be cocky, but I'm telling you, people know who I am. I demand attention. It is important that you do that. You can do all of this work on your own. That right there is my certification. That's it. GMFD. That's who I am. That's what I do. It's how I roll. You need to step up to the plate, learn your craft, learn the business of the, the, the business section, and get to work. You don't need someone else to qualify you to be ready to do a job. You need to do your own due diligence, Learn it, learn the business side, and get on board and make that money. That's what you need to do. Don't worry about having someone certify you. Can I, I can tell you this, even though you know I, I have a reputation and, and that kind of thing, I do things far differently than some of the other guys that are out there. Um, you know, some of the guys that train. I mean, you could take um, one person that trains detailing and a completely other company or person that trains detailing and you could go to both of their classes overall and that's what's important overall it's going to be the same you're going to get probably the same roots from people who are qualified to to give you that training uh, you know my recommendation is you know if you if you can't learn enough on your own and gather the experience or if you're afraid that you might screw something up and you would rather just you know get some hands-on training or classroom training uh, first off you know, with someone that's training you, I would recommend that you do that versus trying to acquire a certification, a piece of paper that says, hey, I can do this. Because you can. You can do it. Uh, detailing isn't, uh, you know, to do it right, to have the skills to, you know, I feel like, especially in this industry, it's more important to have business skills uh, than anything else. I mean, uh, any random idiot phone every day all day it's my mother my mother's calling me right now it's uh nine o'clock in the morning my mother's calling me i'm gonna answer this mom i'm shooting a video and you're on the video can i call you back you are you want to talk to him you want to say hi say hi, hi. it's my mom uh, hello. I'm, I'm Gary's mother. yeah it's weird <laughs> okay that's a little weird you made the video though mom oh my gosh that's awesome i'm so bad all right all right uh, all right, I love you. I'll call you back in a few. All right, bye. My mom. Phone rings all day. That's how I roll. That's what I do. Um, anyway, she's awesome. It's my mom. Uh, so, 
that's the bottom line. Uh, the, the business portion is far more important than the detailing portion. However, you need to be a, uh, a good detailer to combine the craftsmanship with the business situation. You have to, you have to balance that. Um, but again, I, I feel like there's more business involved than there is actually detailing in a detailing business. And, you know, that's what I'm trying to, to show you guys uh, and, and give you all these tips and tricks for is because this is the kind of stuff that nobody talks about. Everybody wants to show you how to detail, but you can pick most of that up yourself. I want to show you how to help run your business, how to structure that business, how to build your packages, how to build your, your pricing structure and you know that kind of thing. You know, how to talk to people, how to how to build this business thing, because that you know that's what I'm good at. And that, you know, I, I, I do it every day. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm involved in lots of different businesses. Uh, I, I've got a couple businesses that are not detailing related. I'm working on two more businesses uh, that I'll be starting up in the next year that are not detailing related. I am an entrepreneur. I'm a good businessman. Uh, I know how to work the business side, but you know, my I, I came into life. You know, I, my my passion was detailing, and I really worked. Really. All right, so uh, you know, so focus on the business aspect. Definitely get your skills squared away for sure. But you know, again, the money is made in the consultation uh, with with the customer. Uh, the money is not made in changing the price halfway through so you can make more money. That that's bad business. That's not how it works. Uh, there are some instances where that works out. Uh, and you know, you know that depends solely on what your how your consultation goes. If you leave it open ended, where hey, look, you know, if if I, I get to this point, you're at this amount of dollars. But if I see something else, or if I need more time, or you know, if it leads into the next job I've got scheduled, you know, then we got to change the price. It's all about communication, you know. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. The video is about. Do I need to be certified to detail? The answer, and you can take this for whatever it's worth, just like the rest of the videos, the answer is no. You do not need to be certified by anybody but yourself and your customer. Your customer will certify you. And uh, just remember, you're only as good as the last job you did. And that goes for the rapport that you build with the customer, that goes for the communication that you have, that goes for the whole outline of the job, not just doing the job. You're only as good as the last job that you did. Think about that, that's pretty important. So uh, if you guys got any questions for me, 813-846-4406, send me a text message probably the easiest way to get to me if uh, you've got questions that are a little bit longer than you'd want to type just let me know and I'll I'll give you a call as soon as I can uh, but I want you guys to know I, I appreciate each and every one of you guys to take the time to listen to me yap about things I hope that I'm helping you guys if you've got a request for a video please let me know I'll get you on the list and I'll get it shot uh, but again Keep on detailing. I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's a rough, tough world out there. It's hard to get really going in it unless you have the knowledge that I possess in here, and I'm going to help you guys with that. So uh, let me know if you got any questions. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.